Hello, everybody. Uh, good evening from Lithuania, headquarters of Teltonica Networks. Um, my name is Laurinas. I am a business development coordinator for uh, North America sales team. And today with my colleague, Mr. Shivang, we are gonna introduce Teltonica Networks company. And a special thanks to Wincom Te Technologies for this opportunity. Uh, let's get started. Let's learn how Teltonica Networks can help uh, with your connectivity uh, problems, how we can solve them, how we can help uh, solve these problems. Let's get started with some uh, information about Teltonica Networks. In short, uh, who we are. We are global manufacturer of networking and connectivity equipment. And we have more than 25 years of experience doing that. Talking about worldwide presence, Teltonica Networks is a global company. And uh, with the worldwide presence, uh, we have presence in 21 countries. That means uh, different uh, 31 offices in uh, 21 countries. And uh, our products are de uh, deployed in over 180 countries. And we have trusted partners with over 1,500 industry leaders. Our global your local teltonica networks um, our mission is to be fast flexible and of course close to our partners so uh, for this reason we uh, have office in toronto canada uh, to be even closer we have our sales force there we have our support uh, teams we have uh, iot engineers one of them is uh, Mr. Shivang. So, and additionally, we have warehouses of equipment. So for this reason, we providing very short lead times for our North America partners. Moving forward, we are recognized and uh, we recognized as the second largest provider of cellular IoT gateways in the world, according to Berg Inside Source. And uh, last year, over 1 million devices uh, deployed in a whole world. So that's, this means uh, 1 million connectivity problems were sold, uh, solved. So uh, additionally, I want to mention that uh, we have more than 300 product certifications and uh, you're probably thinking what is the situation in North America so let me tell you about certifications for North America our devices are certificated for FCC DTCRB FirstNet worth to mention that C1 D2 certification is also will be available very soon talking about carrier certifications AT&T Verizon T-Mobile let's move forward about our growth and uh, in overall uh, in seven years period um, our growth was almost each year uh, 60 percent which is a three times higher than our market average. And uh, one of the main reasons um, of our growth is new products. So below you see the numbers, uh, what number of new products we added each year. So as example, last year we added 12 new devices. And now let's take a look into whole portfolio let's meet our products and uh, which contains over 38 products 
divided into six categories. So main ones, routers, 5G, 4G, Ethernet and wireless routers. Then we have gateways, again, 5G, 4G, and BIOT uh, gateways. We have industrial switches. We have modems. Also, we are manufacturing access points. And last but not least, we have remote management IoT platform. Overall, uh, all products can fulfill any connectivity use case uh, for primary or for backup connectivity needs. And in the slide, you can see main six industries, which is industrial automation, energy utilities, smart city solutions, transportation solutions, enterprise projects, retail uh, projects and solutions. And I would like to give my word to Mr. Shivang to introduce um, remote management system, short demonstration. So I'm giving my word, I'm giving my slides to uh, Shivang. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, allow me to share my screen. Um, are you guys able to see my screen? Yep. Okay. Yes. So this is this is the RMS um, web page. So first, the first uh, login on the RMS account will bring you to this page. So this is the uh, page where you will be able to see a lot of information about the devices the charts that will uh, bring you the devices, uh, how many devices are offline, how many devices are online, which devices are you using in your uh, RMS account that will be displayed over here, and the quantity of those devices, the firmware of the devices, which firmware um, the devices are using, and how many devices are using it, uh, that specific firmware, and this is not just the standard um, web UI that you will have. You can customize it for your own look. So for example, using this page settings over here, you can select which table order do you prefer in your, in your um, uh, home page of the RMS, or either you can go to like table presets and decide. You can create your own preset. In fact, if you create your own preset, you can get to know, uh, you can collect and see a lot of information about the devices. And you can display it over here. You can uh, have lots of charts that you can visibly have on, on your uh, home page. So let's say we select two more. And as we can see, two more uh, charts are populated in, in our home page. So it's a bit easy to customize. Let's say, uh, do not save, uh, see the charts for now. It will take away the charts and bring you like more um, screen for the parameters that we have selected in our preset table, preset table over here. The default parameters that uh, we are able to see right now for the devices are name, model, company name, tag, serial. So. This is just a default setting, but you can customize and uh, select like uh, see a lot of information over here. Select all the devices. Let's say um, you you wish to like uh, you you have many devices in within your uh, RMS account, and you wish to like uh, make simple or uh, just one configuration change to the device. Uh, virtually, it will be impossible to like make that change, uh, logging into like each individual device and making that change either from the web UI or CLI. So we have got pretty cool um, features within in the RMS that can like automate like lots of tasks and make it much more easier for you to like perform those uh, changes within like few clicks. So for example, let's say we select this device. Over here, we go to configurations option, which is like device configurator. 
we go to network let's say we go to interfaces we go to network interfaces let's say i'll click on update get information from the device and we can see the information of the device the configurations that we have on this uh, particular interface that's a LAN interface we can see all those informations over here we can select click on apply changes and we can make those changes over here so if i were to change ip address of the device i can simply uh, type in like a new ip address and see the changes and that will be uh, the changes will be forwarded to the device and the device will have this new ip address when we log into the device so this is the configuration through the rms what if we want to reach to the device uh, from remotely and not to have like a, a local a connection or not, let's say we want to avoid the security loopholes of port forwarding those settings or having to pay for an expensive uh, static public IP address. We can avoid all this, uh, like all this um, expensives and the security loopholes through RMS, using RMS. So to have a remote access to the device, we select this icon over here, uh, web UI, device web UI, or we can use like a device CLI icon over here. Or if you wish to like go to like device details, let's go to device details that will bring you more information of the device. Over here, this, these are the icons that we can use to reach to the web UI remotely. So let me delete this link and generate a new one for you. Click on generate, select the time uh, until what time you wish to have this link active for. Uh, it By default, it, it has like half an hour, but you can certainly uh, select the duration. Click on the link and it will open up in a new tab. Uh, still requires the password for authentication. Put in the password, the username and password, and it will bring it to the device. I think I typed in the wrong password. Takes about a few seconds and it, we should be able to log into the device. And here we go. As if we are accessing the device locally, we are able to reach to this device like remotely. So this is the really cool, the best feature of the RMS. We are able to reach the web ui of the devices from remote location without having to do any configurations from uh from the rms or from the device itself we can pretty much do anything uh, remotely now if you wish to reach the cli of the device remotely this is this is the button over here which can bring us uh, the cli connection of the root x11 or any device uh, that we use uh, or that is connected to the rms uh, we can like connect it through uh, the rms links now let's say you have a remote um let, let's say you have a camera or let's say a plc which is connected to root x11 or let's say a root to 40 or in any of our devices and you wish to reach that device uh, which is in the lan connection now there are a couple of options that we have with using which we can reach that end device one of them is vpn of course but VPN comes with its own complexity. Another is like uh, using static public IP address. But again, static public IP address is not the great security. Um, it, it comes with a lot of security uh, loopholes. We, anyone can access a static public IP address. So we got like uh, a remote access feature over here, which is a mixture of both, which uh, brings like the positive points of uh, VPN, the security from the VPN, and avoid the security loopholes of the static public IP address and the cost that we put to, to have like public IP address. We avoid that using remote access. So how does this work? It creates like a v link. It creates a similar link that we have to uh, root x11. It creates a similar link to the end device that is connected to root x11 and give you the web UI or the CLI connection to the uh, end device connected to the LAN network of root X11. 
which brings it more easier for you uh, for us to configure or to see some of the configuration uh, information or maybe some status information of the those PLCs or those cameras. We have RMS VPN, which uh, is like a VPN, which uh, is slightly different from other VPNs as it is like open VPN based, but it's quite easy and really uh, web UI friendly to configure and to manage those manage the VPN network. Normal uh, VPN networks are not really easy to manage in, in today's world. So we came up with a good solution to, so that we can manage, we can add those devices, we can add multiple users in the VPN network with just few clicks and it's uh, easy to manage as well. We can track all the information. For example, we can track the data usage. If, uh, if the device is using more data, we can get to know that information over here. So we can track the data usage of the VPN. We can also uh, include more clients, more VPN clients, uh, more, more VPN users, devices from here. Click on add button, uh, click on RMS devices. Let's say uh, we, we want to include root 950 and we can click on that, confirm. And the device uh, and the RMS works in collaboration. So RMS will push those VPN configurations to the end device. Uh, sorry, to the uh, root 950, and root 950 will be included in the same VPN network as as the uh, root 360. So root 360 and root 950 are in the same VPN network. Now, if you wish to add your own PC, or maybe let's say if you wish to add a technician uh, to the VPN network just for a temporary access, then we can do that from here. Custom user or RMS users. So let's do RMS user click on uh, add it will add a user and gives us a uh, open vpn uh, config file using this configuration file we download it on the pc or share it to the technician or the person who needs the access and import it to the open vpn client connect software and that pc will be connect will be able to connect to this vpn network so it's a good uh, use of VPN network. You can manage routes for your VPN network. Uh, if you wish to add like your LAN uh, clients, LAN devices into the VPN network, you can uh, just enable this toggle button and add the routes, whichever you want to like. So it's easy to play with, uh, play with the VPN um, like network and manage the network uh, other than having to like uh, have a connection between two devices, which essentially uh, requires a static public IP addresses if you wish to have like a two uh, VPN network between two devices. So RMS VPN uh, bridges the gap and brings you, brings you like more benefit having to have like a reduced cost of uh, reduced cost that you pay for a public IP address and also bring you bring you like more security uh, options over here. Task manager, as I mentioned, uh, you can automate like a lot of tasks. Um, if you if you have like multiple devices, if you have like let's say 100 devices and you wish to change some configurations, uh, just using the CLI, you can uh, do that from task manager, uh, create the task group name, configure your command over here. If you wish to upload the file or if you wish to download the file, there is an option as well. Uh, once you create this task group, which uh, over here, we have already created a couple of task groups. Select the devices, um, go to the device list. Let's say we select the device over here, a couple of them. We go to management and we just click on execute task and we click on this buttons over here and that will execute the task. So essentially this will help us to uh, configure multiple devices at the same time. So, which is one of the cool feature as well. Now, what one of the good feature I like about the RMS is the map. So, if you have multiple devices located in multiple locations, and you want to see those devices location, where where are those located right now? Then you can see that in the RMS as well. So if if, if you can manually ping uh, some of the devices, let's say uh, if if you have a device that you want to uh, pin it manually, you can do that as well. 
but if you wish the device should automatically like bring up uh, its location in the rms it can do so as well uh, just you need to like turn on the gps configurations in in our device and that should bring up the uh, information of of the device uh, like gns states statements to our device of to the rms and it will show up on the on the rms maps now let's say you have uh, your customer you you are the administrator of the this devices and you are providing some services to the customer and the customer needs like a temporary access or maybe limited access to the rms then you can create like a company. So under your RMS uh, account, you will be like the first level company. You can create like a second level company and that second level company will be assigned to your customer. And you can essentially also assign uh, that second level company can also have like third level company. But all this, uh, all this uh, second level and the third level company access, you, 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 since you are the administrator, you will have the full uh, control over the RMS accounts, RMS devices, RMS users, everything. Administrator, you will have full control over it. You can uh, add a lot of users. Uh, if you wish to like invite more users, you can do that from here. Uh, the users will have their own permissions. You can define their own permissions. You can uh, create like new permissions from them. By default, there are like four rules created. These four rules will be um, having certain sets of permissions. Administrators can do all the all the changes, all the uh, updates, delete, add users, delete users. Administrator can do everything. And the client will have limited sets of permissions. They'll be only able to like view certain uh, device information. They might not be able to change that. Say, so do the advanced guests. They won't be able to change everything. They'll all be able to see some information and not make change or anything to the RMS accounts. Maybe they'll not be able to add users. So you can see those permissions over here. So if you click over here to the permissions, you'll be able to see what um, rules, what permissions do they have, do that particular rule have. And using these uh, permissions, you can create like new permissions, you can create new roles and assign to those uh, new users that will be either your colleague uh, within within your, the same company, that will be your, um, let's say your customer, or maybe, maybe a one-time end user, one-time customer. And one more feature, if you wish to uh, integrate the RMS into your own software, there is the, we do have that option over here. Going to account settings and APIs. APIs uh, are like today's backbone. So if you wish to integrate your own software, collect information from the RMS, from the devices, and then integrate or import that information into your own software or maybe into your own cloud platform or something, you can definitely do that using uh, access tokens or application APIs from the RMS, which we do have the option for as well. And um, next up, there are a couple of use cases um, that I would like to share on the RMS. Uh, RMS can be like used in a lot of a uh, lot of like ways. Um, it can be used to collect information for these devices, integrate with a lot of softwares and the cloud solutions, which can be uh, helpful to bring your um, bring your connectivity solutions to like uh, to the field to the real life. Let me introduce um, Root 241. To, root 241 is uh, one of our um, best unit, which can, which is the size of our hand palm. It can like literally fit on our hand. It, it is just a, like small size with the CAT4 uh, LTE as a maximum speed of like 150 Mbps. 
2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, two Ethernet port, which can be uh, which are convertible. You can use WAN port as a LAN port and LAN port as a WAN port. Got um, digital input uh, input and output options. There's multiple VPN options: Open VPN, Tink VPN, and we uh, keep on bringing like new VPNs uh, that makes the connectivity possible on the devices. And 128 MB of RAM. So this this is just like really a small introduction but in in pretty much in the field when you when you try to play with the device it can do like a lot of a uh, lot of things you couldn't imagine like it can literally bring you like a lot of services and a lot of customization on your table so if you wish to run uh, some application or build some service on top of root to 41 you can do so you can feel free to use our sdks and that will uh, bring you like uh, the solution that you wish to do for your uh, customers it, it can you can you're able to like build up that service or that application uh, one of the couple of use cases you can uh, reduce the downtime and improve like productivity so what do i mean by reduce downtime so you can the device has like a failover mechanism failover feature on itself so, and also has like multiple um, connectivity options. So if you are connected to let's say ethernet, internet connection, and you, you, you wish to have like a secondary backup failover as a mobile connection, you can configure it uh, to have like primary connection as ethernet. And if ethernet goes down, the device will uh, fail over to like mobile, mobile internet connection. And then that you, that you will have like a really uh, less, uh, maybe like split second downtime connection. Sometimes you won't even uh, notice that there was internet internet outage, but it's just like a split second connectivity uh, downtime, which you can uh, like improve, which you can like improve to let's say make it like really less than one second by making the configurations uh, accordingly on the device. Improve productivity, you can improve a lot of productivity in, in terms of uh, if you use RMS Remote Access, RMS Remote Connect, you can uh, literally avoid having a technician to go on the field and perform those uh, troubleshoots on the, on the devices, the end devices especially. If you have remote access in place, you can just uh, access those end devices and their uh, root to 40 from remotely and uh, make those configurations and make all those changes or troubleshoots that are necessary. Um, continuous analysis of equipment. So this is something RMS also offers in terms of chart. So you can and uh, you can like you you can analysis. You can have the uh, information of the in like signal strength, like a device downtime, like a device um, uh, input output. So it RMS records this information. And this information is recorded in RMS, which you can download as a report later on. So that will bring you like more analysis of your uh, of your uh, solutions. So you can have the more uh, reports that you have, it will be a better analysis, which bring which is uh, able to improve like a lot of uh, productivity in in your uh, services in your uh, solutions. One of the topology we have uh, IoT gateway. We have a root to 40, which is uh, connected to internet through um, like mobile connection, which is a wireless, and also it, it gives the internet connection to sensor to the PLC, uh, which is uh, on on a conveyor belt. So this this is some sort of uh, um, manufacturing like a facility where PLCs and the sensors and the I/O modules are connected. To the root of 41 and enabling uh, the connectivity to the internet which brings like uh, connectivity rms gives the more information about root of 41 and the information about the connectivity whereas the analytical systems is, is the system that brings information from the plcs and the sensors so nice uh, beautiful topology and the use case over here um, next up, we have uh, Route 956, which is uh, a good choice with a dual SIM. You can have dual SIM router. So uh, dual SIM means we can have like a failover onto two SIM cards. 
and also a backup as a Wi-Fi van or like uh, Ethernet connections. It comes with serial interfaces like two RS-232 and RS-485, which will uh, will be which we can connect like PLCs and other uh, other devices that uses RS interfaces. It has uh, input output block that can be used with uh, for another use cases as building GNSS support. So if you wish to use like a geofencing or uh, geofencing, one of the really uh, good use case that can be used with 0956, uh, defining the perimeter. And if the device goes outside that perimeter, you get an alert on that. So this is one of the good use case that can be uh, like employed to your solutions. Comes with four ethernet port and also the Wi-Fi. Uh, this this uh, device is approved by uh, approved and has a certification from a lot of uh, organizations from FCC, from uh, ISP, AT and T, Verizon, T-Mobile. Firstnet, Firstnet is of course the best use uh, it best used for first responders in the US, so it can be used um, best device. This case is water treatment plant. So here is a nice topology of that as well. So the device can be used uh, with a lot of lot of ways. So temperature sensors and sensors can be connected to the RS interfaces of the device. RS interfaces can collect those information and send it over to some server. Uh, maybe it can be Azure or AWS. You can configure this. We have uh, inbuilt Azure IoT um, package on our device that can be used. You can collect information about Route 956 in, on the RMS uh, platform. We have internet connectivity using Wi-Fi. Uh, we have internet connectivity using like Ethernet. If you wish to have like backup internet, then there is also like a mobile internet. If it, it can like have multiple backup internet connectivity sources, and uh, it makes the connectivity possible and the solution possible with your um, use case. Okay, I'd like to um, hand it over to Lorinas now. Perfect. Thank you, Shivang, for this very, very informative uh, introduction of RMS. I hope um, those who are listening learned a lot about it and we created a curiosity to try remote management system. And uh, just one reminder, if you have question, uh, you can drop those questions in a question table so we could answer those later on. Now, uh, let's move forward with the value that Teltonica Networks is uh, giving. So, from concept to product, actually, uh, what uh, I would like to address with this slide that all products are made in-house in our own manufacturing facility. In headquarters, which is Lithuania, Europe. So, in short, we have our own manufacturing facility and the manufacturing devices there. So, for this reason, we are providing highest European quality and maximum flexibility. Talking about manufacturing facility, some numbers that we have 11,000 square meters manufacturing facility in Lithuania, in Europe. And uh, it contains of eight SMT lines and plus 100 robots uh, working there, manufacturing our products. Uh, worth to mention, uh, half a million monthly manufacturing capacity. And I would like to show you some inside of a manufacturing facility. We included this short GIF, short introduction of 
uh, manufacturing facility for, uh, in Lithuania. And uh, I highly recommend to watch a whole video. Uh, and you can do that by scanning QR code on the side of this slide. So I, one more time, highly recommend to do that, to, to you know, watch uh, this video uh, and see what uh, manufacturing facility Teltonica Networks have. So a couple of seconds for those who are scanning QR code and we can move uh, forward. Good top-notch functionality. In short, our device's functionality relies on two essential components. Root OS software, uh, which is on the left, and remote management system platform on the right. And Root OS software provides user-friendly customization and robust security, while RMS empowers remote access and control of Teltonica Networks devices and other smart equipment. A complete solution. So uh, we offer uh, it, we offer uh, packages which includes all plug and play accessories. So in short, once you are uh, purchasing standard package of Teltonica Networks router or gateway or other equipment. In a box, you will have all devices to start your testing, to start your even uh, projects or to start even your work. No additional charges for product software or support. And I highly recommend to visit our wiki page, which is a um, huge, huge uh, technology library for uh, diff uh, different uh, technical documentations, uh, user manuals, and troubleshooting tips, and more. So to end up our presentation, our uh, webinar, I want to highlight that 5G is coming to North America, Teltonica Networks with 5G uh, coming to North America very, very soon. So stay tuned for new, um, uh, new uh, webinars, new uh, videos on our social media. Make sure you are following us on LinkedIn, on YouTube, on Facebook, Twitter, and other social platforms and if you would like to learn uh, more about Teltonica Networks products go deeper into uh, technical details scan this uh, QR code which you see in the middle of uh, the slide and uh, thank you one more time for Vincon Technologies for this opportunity uh, to introduce Teltonica Networks uh, company and Let's make connectivity happen um, from Lithuania, the headquarters of Teltonica Networks. I'm saying you have a good day, North America, and maybe there is a listener from even Lithuania. I'm saying um, have a good night. Thank you for your attention.